Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today we're going for the red highlights. You guys know I love a good red, a good burgundy, a good wine color. Today we're going for a highlight red wine color and it's perfect time for the fall. I love this type of color and shade on me during the fall and winter seasons and if you've been following me for years you guys know I always come with the looks. So this is the first of many during the season um, and I absolutely love it. This is a definitely a beginner to intermediate friendly install. We did do a little bit of plucking around the hairline just to make it a little bit more baby hair and a little bit more natural in the front. But other than that, the hair as far as like the color and the curls all came ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the install process and the style. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Okay, love bugs, jumping right into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is the inside construction of the cap. I feel like when I don't show you this in the beginning, you guys always say, what does the inside looks like? So here it is. It is a, I believe a 13 by 4 lace wig yes 13 by 4 lace wig it comes with the adjustable strap in the inside i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of customization by putting my foundation powder inside the lace before i even put it on when i put my wigs on i put the adjustable strap on first then i put this beautiful wig on and you guys see it was already given straight out of the box absolutely impressed and it fit my head like a glove everything i needed and more and i didn't even know i needed it this one here is a burgundy highlight loose wave textured 13 by 4 lace front wig the length is 24 inches and as you guys can see i'm just cutting off the excess lace i will be customizing the hairline a little bit more to make it natural and i'm going to do that right before it's time to install here is a look at this loose wave 24 inches of goodness you guys can see the highlight is spread out very nice and tasteful excuse the scalp in the front i didn't move it back the way i needed it to so yeah excuse that i was you know I, I couldn't see in the back but you guys get the picture once you comb the curls out they look absolutely beautiful here is a look at the hairline and how it looks when you pull a little bit of hair forward it kind of looks a little bit intimidating when it's all straight back because everyone wants a nice instagram baddie gradient hairline look so i'm going to go ahead and help to make it look a lot more like that by just pulling a little bit more than what i would consider baby hair to the front and i'm just going in with the tweezers and being very generous to thin it out as much as possible i want it nice and thin because i'm going to do very tiny baby hair and i don't want it too thick also want to mention beauty forever always has a good deal going on right now you can get 20 dollars off of your purchase just by using special code beauty fyytb i'll have this directly um, posted in the description box as well as a direct link to the wig that way you won't miss out on a deal now let's work on our glueless install we are using a hairspray this is typically used to hold the curls when like you curl your hair but we're going to use it along the hairline paired with our blow dryer on a cool setting this is going to bond the wig down and melt the lace seamlessly it's going to appear that the wig is glued down but this is just a hairspray which means at the end of the night you can go ahead and wet down your hairline and it'll come off like magic and it will not damage your hairline Next, I'm going to take my edge control from bdagbeauty.com. We're going to go in generously along the hairline, and I'm just going to play with the baby hair. As I mentioned, I just want the front to look like natural, like seamless, like baby hair that just falls in many different directions. A little bit of the portions were too thick, so as you guys can see, I'm sending some back into the lace that way like it's a little bit more sparse and not too full and that's the beauty of baby hair if you feel like you did too much you can always send it back and it'll look good this wax stick also comes from bdagbitty.com as well as this electric hot comb everything is linked and listed in the description box this is my favorite combo to go in and just really really melt the lace and make it look super flat you don't want your wig to be super bulky or you know fluffy along the lace nice and flat gives you more growing out of the scalp what lace vibes and don't forget the hairline as well you want everything to be nice and flawless and thin and natural especially along the front now let's go in with a little concealer i like to go ahead and customize my lace to match my complexion 420 concealer um in this fenty concealer is my favorite for parting typically 
And then I like to blend it out with a towel just to make sure it's not too cakey. And then from here, I'm going to go in with a powder. This is a foundation powder, super affordable from Amazon. It's a shade or two darker than my complexion, and I feel like it goes along the hairline perfect. We're going to just comb the curls out and leave them as is, and voila, super beautiful. Okay, that bugs. Look at the curls. Look at the color. And I didn't have to curl this one at all. Look at the body. Literally, this one was ready to go. So I scooted back a little bit so you can see the full thing. You kind of comb it out. And as you guys can see, it's nice and full. It's not like thin and sparse. But it is definitely full of body. Now, when it comes to the ends, you guys know I'm no expert with curls. So I'm not going to try and go in and add anything. And plus, I don't think it necessarily needs. Because when you comb it apart, you know, it does this. You kind of just reform the curls how they naturally go and it'll kind of like zhuzh up and go right back into it which says a lot about the wig and you can definitely add a little bit of serum but I don't want it to be shiny. The color combo on this one is definitely a vibe. It's been a while since I've done like the red color but you guys know if you know me and you follow me I always do like the reds and the burgundies and the wine colors around this time of the year throughout um, like fall and winter season so this one is right on time love 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 how it was easy to install and I did go in and tweeze out the hairline just a little bit because I didn't really want to do like baby hair baby hair but I wanted to give something in the front so that it wouldn't look too wiggy you guys know I like my hair to kind of like push back at the front I don't like my hair to like go straight forward like this because I just feel like on me it just looks a little bit weird and wiggy and maybe it's just the shape of my head or forehead not quite sure but it just looks better when it kind of pushes back a little bit as I mentioned this one did come from beauty forever and you guys know they are no stranger to my channel I work with them often so I probably easily have good like between five and ten maybe even more videos with this company so you can definitely go to my main channel and then like hit the search bar on my main channel or my main page and type in beauty forever and all of the videos that I've done with this company will definitely come up if you are interested in looking at like a catalog of all of the hair that I review different colors lengths, styles and so forth and so on with this company they did give some and they did include some goodies in the package um, a melt belt with their logo and name pack of wig caps And then also we got another like cheetah print milk belt, a pink bonnet, which I'm about to get the kids together for the night. So I'm probably going to throw this bonnet on the ends of the hair so I can preserve it while doing bath time and the whole good night routine. This here is a pack of lashes, super nice. And then a little kabuki brush. I'm not going to open it. I'll probably put it in a giveaway. But it's a little kabuki brush. You open it up and it like twists up. These are perfect to add to like your makeup, your travel makeup bag as like a good way to like do your powder and stuff like that. So this is the wig on the website. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think it came literally ready to go with the same exact styles. Sometimes the the, the home page or with the, the advertisement page is like a little bit of a catfish and I think this one is definitely on mark of course you can go in and zhuzh it up and add a little bit more body by like touching up your curls yourself but for this one to have traveled all the way across the country across the world actually I think it held up amazing through shipping and handling as far as like them being able to pre-curl it put it in a small square box and then make it to me with the same or similar curls Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!